What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today we're checking out some of the best tech products this month under the price point of $10 and $20. If you guys don't know already, this is a series where we cover products in different price categories, and each month it is a different price point that can either be under $10 and $20, $50, $100, and I feel like the segmented price point is just able to appeal to a nice and general tech audience out there. And I also wanna give a huge thanks to Trend Micro and their premium security suite for sponsoring a portion of this video. So we've gone ahead and curated some products that we feel are great accessories for the overall desk setup because at this price point, a lot of the items are ones that will complement some of the other items that you have around the house or in your tech arsenal. So as always, if you guys want to win a product from this video, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment down below with your Instagram username and follow me over on Instagram and I'll be announcing a winner down there in a few weeks and you'll get a few of the items. All the products in this video are also gonna be linked in the description section down below. So for anyone who is looking for a great way to organize your desk and also take care of two functions in one product, you can do so for under $20 and this is the Newbie 2-in-1. It has a headphone stand as well as a wireless smartphone charger and it has like a good like blend of simplicity as well as material choice with like a plastic base with silicone feet as well as a metal rod here. So it's able to hold your headphones relatively well. There's like a lot of different headphone stands out there, ones that are very simple, others that are metal, and there's even even some wood options that come in at a higher price point, but for 20 bucks, not only do you get a very solid headphone stand that looks very simple, but at the same time, you have a wireless charging pad. In terms of the wireless charging speed, it is really nothing special. I wouldn't say it's exactly fast, and it doesn't specifically say what the wattage is, but there's obviously much better options on the market, even for like $10 on their own. It is able to connect to the back via USB type C, and it does have a light indicator, so I feel like for 20 bucks, you really can't go wrong with this. It's just a nice all-in-one accessory and I'm always looking for the best desk setup accessories that are not only able to double in functionality, but just keep everything nice and tidy. So this next product right here is from Woosh and it just doesn't seem like anything exciting. I mean, it's a screen cleaner. There's really not much to it whatsoever. There are so many options on the market at different price points, but what is specifically special about this one is that it is apparently what Apple uses in their own store. So it's gotta be pretty decent because there are like specific ways that you're supposed to clean certain screens, such as like the XDR. I mean, with the, the iPhone, it doesn't really matter what you use, but what is good about this is that it doesn't have any smell. It is alcohol free. It has no toxins whatsoever and just in terms of performance standpoint which is what I really care about it is able to clean your screen very effectively it also comes with this cloth right here which is relatively portable and it has a few different sizes to it but I would say like this like portable size right here at hundred milliliters is just the most handy and I know you guys might have seen my videos over the years sometimes there's dust on the products but lately I've been trying to get a lot better at it and I have just been cleaning the devices with the whoosh and using like a compressed air can to get rid of all the dust and as I said with the XDR display where there's like specifics of having to use like Apple's hundred dollar cloth and all that kind of stuff I have been using this as well and it has worked amazingly when it comes to another great accessory though, this is the Givo headphone cover. It comes in at a price of $13 and it is just like a buttoned on clip on sleeve that goes around the headband of your headphone. And in some cases you might have a headphone that just isn't very comfortable. Or in other situations I can see this being very useful is perhaps you have like a very like sweaty gaming headset or a headphone that you wear for workouts and stuff. And you just don't want the headphone to get really disgusting. So by having this, you can just go ahead and take it off, throw it in the washing machine and just keep it nice and clean and it protects the actual finish of your headphone. I'll be the first to admit it doesn't look very good. Um, in fact, I think it's quite ugly, but if you have a pair of headphones that are just at home and ones that you wear um, on an everyday basis, then this could be a very nice accessory and I do find that the mesh finish is relatively comfortable. It does have a good level of breathability, but you will have to see if it is compatible with a pair of headphones because there are some that I have where it just doesn't really fit that well. But in this case, as you can see with a relatively wide band, it is able to stay on. And as I said, I think its best function is just to protect and keep your headphone clean because we all know that these headphones after being worn for many hours can get very sweaty, especially with this being my Formula One headphone. 
So this next product right here is from Amazon's Basics lineup. And even as someone who has a ton of cables with all sorts of tech, I just seem to never be able to find the cable that I actually need. And so Amazon does have a pretty good collection of like lower end cables, as well as ones that are a little bit higher quality. And typically my favorite kind is the braided one because they just seem to stay very durable for long periods of time. And they also come in many different lengths. In this case, this is a six foot model and it comes in at about $13. And you can also buy different sets with multiple cables included at a better per unit price, but you can get it in either USB type C to lightning cable, USB A to lightning, USB C to C. There is a ton of options out there that I could list all day, but just in terms of the braided finish, it has like a good level of bend to it. But at the same time, I do feel like the nice like reinforcement is definitely there. Um, the ends are also nicely like tapered because I do find this is the area where a lot of my cables break and they are also MFI certified, which is always good. So yeah, if you're looking for like a simple cable whether you go with like anchor or amazon the amazon one is slightly cheaper and i can say it is a really good option so as someone who does a lot of traveling and also just has a lot of tech products in general, one thing that I can't have enough of is a wall plug. And this right here is a charger called the Ugreen Ace Cube 30 watt charger. And as you can see, it is very portable, it's minimal, well designed, has a ton of tech behind it, but at the same time, it comes in at a coupon price of just under $20, which fits in very nicely in this episode. As you guys might know, the iPhone as well as Android phones and all these other tech products out there have the capability of charging at a faster speed. And with all the products nowadays that don't come with a charging brick um, or the first party ones that are just overpriced, there is a ton of great third party options out here. And Ugreen is a company that has been in this industry for a while. This is a 30 watt charger, so it actually has a higher wattage than the larger size 20 watt charger that Apple sells. And at the same time, it is able to charge your iPhone for reference from zero to 60% in 30 minutes. You can even use this to charge your MacBook Air from zero to 100% in two hours, Google Pixel to 50% in 37 minutes. And you can also have super fast charge Samsung products with the PPS protocol. This Ugreen 30 watt charger is also 46% smaller than the original 30 watt charger. And it also has a gallium nitrate technology, also known as GAN, which is a feature that is very important in a high quality charger nowadays. And not only delivers the fastest speed possible through good optimization, but also ensures the safety of your device during that charge. So yeah, if you guys wanna go ahead and pick this up for yourself for just under $20, I have a coupon code for you guys, and the link is gonna be down below with everything else in this video. So in the last episode, we featured something called the Backbone, and that was a game controller for your iPhone that was able to clip on. And even though that was like a pretty good accessory, it comes in at a price of a hundred bucks. In a situation that you already have an Xbox controller and you're able to connect it to your smartphone to use, then this accessory right here is one that just makes total sense. It is super cheap. It is able to just literally snap over your game controller and you get all the great ergonomics of your main console. But at the same time, your phone just clips in and you're able to angle it here and there. It is completely made out of plastic, but I would say the overall quality and build is quite nice. It has some nice leveled notches that allow you to really lock it in and ensure everything stays in position nicely. So yeah, you can enjoy the smartphone games that are getting so good on these smartphones using the controller that you're comfortable with at a very low price. Obviously we do have to factor in the cost of the controller, but this is more so for people who already have that and don't have to go ahead and spend $100 on something like the backbone. So before we move on to the next product, I wanna give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Trend Micro and their premium security suite, which is able to protect your Mac and PC from malware, ransomware, viruses, and other threats. In fact, it's also able to provide protection to your iPhone. Their premium service offers 24 seven support as well as a password manager that is simple and secure to manage all of your password, as well as ID security for dark web monitoring. On top of that, they also have VPN Proxy One, which is a secure VPN for public Wi-Fi. And as someone who does a lot of traveling and uses like hotel Wi-Fi or coffee shop Wi-Fi, the VPN security is something that can apply to all aspects of public internet where there can be many security threats because you just never know what type of network you're connecting to. 
Especially if you're someone who works from home, maybe relies on the internet like myself or travels a ton, all these features really come together to give you the ultimate security of your data and your device. There are just so many use cases, whether you are trying to protect your accounts or social media accounts, or also shopping online and want to ensure your banking and credit card information is safely protected. Guarding against identity theft is also a huge thing, and Trend Micro allows a team to stay protected from virus on the computers and mobile devices. So if you guys want to go ahead and check them out for yourself, I'm going to drop a link down below, and a huge thanks to Trend Micro once again for sponsoring this video. So here's a product for $20. And Master Dynamic is usually known as like a higher end brand that has headphones that are fully wireless, very well engineered and very well designed at like two, three and even $400. But this right here is their ME01s. And as I said, it comes in at just 20 bucks. Not only is the presentation very nice, but it comes with this nice leather case that also looks like the speaker in this video. But you have all of your ear tips in rotation here that are nicely stored and you can coil up the earbuds and just store them in here as you take them around and as you can see there's like the master dynamic logo on the front when it comes to the design itself it is built out of metal all along here and you can see like all the nice little textured details are all very well done there's a bit of a chrome accent as well and taking this off here there are eight millimeter titanium drivers and for the price of twenty dollars i think the sound quality is pretty good the bass is definitely not as prominent but the mids and the highs do ring out relatively nicely for the price and for the size i wouldn't really say it's like a earbud that you want to have like on an everyday basis but if if you're like going on a lot of flights and still need a 3.5 millimeter earbud, then this is like a very good option because at 20 bucks, say you lose it or something, it isn't the end of the world. Another small feature that I also like in its design is that it has like the controls right here that are very tactile and specifically divide the play pause, the volume up and down with like this metal tube and its cutouts. That just makes it easy because a lot of times you may not be looking down at the actual earbud when you're like controlling it. And so I think that's a very smart design. And I also love the fact that the cable is kind of flattened out because it tangles a lot less easily. Some of the other features include like some manual noise cancellation, which I feel like it has a pretty good level of seal and a multi-directional mic. But for $20, an earbud from like Master Dynamic that has 3.5 that you can take as like a backup or on travel, it's just like an excellent option and I personally will keep this in my bag at all times. So when it comes to productivity and desk accessories, this is a great one to have at your desk. It either has a three, five, 10 or one minute timer and it allows you to just block off your time in specific segments through a physical timer like this. I have seen like software based timers on your computer that is able to like zone off different areas of time but I know a lot of people like to have a physical accessory to be able to set that time very, very easily. I've got to admit, at the price of $14, um, it is like a very basic accessory. And I do feel like the build quality is a little bit crappier than I expected. It has like this weird like shaking sound inside and it didn't include any batteries. But in terms of the actual functionality, you have the low and the high in terms of the actual uh, speaker volume. And you just go ahead and press on a side and it will start counting and it'll display the status on the screen on the other side. So there is like a red light that indicates that it is starting and it will display the live time on the front screen here. So yeah, for like productivity, I think it's a pretty solid accessory. And as soon as you like pick it up and move it, it stops the time and restarts it. So this next tech product right here comes in at a price of $11. And it is something that allows you to measure the weight of your luggage before you actually head to the airport. I'm sure everyone's had that moment where you go to the airport and your baggage is just on the cusp of the limit. And if it's a couple pounds over, they'll either tell you to take it out or they're going to charge you. And so just being able to check that at home and verify it beforehand will pay itself off in literally one instance. And this is able to weigh up to 110 pounds, which for those who might know, the actual weight limit on luggage is 50 pounds. So yeah, you just go ahead and turn it on. You attach your, your baggage to this and just loop it around and it will show up with the weight right away and it will give it to you in either kilograms or pounds. As I said, it is super easy to use. You can tear it with this button as well. Um, but yeah, this is definitely something that I'll be using before every single trip because especially with camera equipment, we're always like right on the edge. 
So when it comes to a Bluetooth speaker, there are more options in the budget price point than ever before. And as you move up a bit in price, Anchor seems to dominate that window, but under $20, this is one that I found on Amazon with really good reviews, and it's called the X Leader. Not only does it look like a hockey puck, like literally, uh, or like a Bluetooth controller for your speaker setup, but I do like the fact that it includes a nice case for it. So you go ahead and pop it in here, zip it up and you take it with you anywhere. And I feel like at 20 bucks, it is very nice that an accessory like this is included. When it comes to the product itself though, you have all of your touch capacitive controls on the top, whether it is your play pause, your skip, and also your volume up and down. It has five watts of power in a 40 millimeter driver. And for its price point, to be honest, the sound quality wasn't actually that bad. It is able to disperse the sound on the bottom in like a 360 degree form due to its shape. And I feel like a lot of times, just the form factor of the speaker itself is a big contributing factor, especially when it doesn't have like multiple drivers or a very large form factor or wattage rating. So yeah, for like 20 bucks, it gets a job done for any small room scenario. But over here, you have your power button, you have your auxiliary. You can also actually put an SD card in there. And the only major flaw I would say is the fact that it charges via micro USB. But otherwise, for its price point and its form factor, I would say it is worth the money. It also has a built-in 1200 milliamp hour battery, which gives you up to 15 hours of listening time, which is relatively impressive for something of this size, but you also have to remember that it's only five watts. So this next product right here can either be for like your home office or your bedroom, and it comes in at under $20 by a penny. It actually looks pretty good. I mean, that's the first thing that I saw. It has like a bit of a grill on the front here that looks like a speaker um, and there's like some wood stands uh, and I don't know, it, it's a lot smaller than it looks in its photos. But from a design standpoint for a space heater, not bad. Um, in terms of the actual functions, it has a cold, a warm one and a warm two level and this is up to a thousand watts. At its max setting, it uses that full 1000 watts, but at the medium setting, it goes down to 600 watts and the cold setting just functions as a personal fan. So I think that's nice that it at least has like the cold feature because say in like the summer, I can totally see this being like on the desk, just serving as a space fan that doesn't look completely ugly or take up a bunch of space in the room. At the back here, there's just like a very simple cable and your power controls. So there isn't any like specific functions or anything. And as a space heater, it does its job. It's not gonna fill up the entire room. It's not gonna heat up your house or your living room. But as I've kind of implied here for small areas, whether it is like next to your living room couch, um, next to your bedside, or in your like home office desk setup, it is a great product and at 20 bucks, you really can't go wrong with it. The power cable and everything is attached. So the cord length is, I mean, a decent amount. I wish it was a little bit longer, but aside from that, I feel like it is pretty well built, well designed, and there's no real flaws to it. So this right here is an accessory that comes in at a price of $14 and it is the EarBuddies ear hooks. It is for your ear pods or your AirPods second generation or first generation. And it essentially is able to enhance the functionality of your earbuds with a very simple silicone accessory. As you guys might know, some of the features of the AirPods Pro is the fact that it has the customizable silicone ear tips in different sizes. And a lot of people like that fit a lot more because some people just have troubles with AirPods not fitting in their ear properly. So this not only gives you a nice seal with the silicone and more comfort, but it also has the ear tip element as well. And it includes both the small and large size in its box. It not only gives you better natural noise cancellation, but at the same time, it allows you to hear your music just a little bit more clearly in some scenarios. But I also like the fact that it has a bit of an ear hook because that is able to just lock in these earbuds that for some people, as I mentioned, do have troubles fitting these in their ear. It is also just like a really good way to manually upgrade your AirPods without having to go ahead and purchase like the AirPods Pro or the AirPods 3. So that pretty much wraps it up for this month's best tech episode. And as always, if you enjoyed, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.